I've come back later, and the box fell down. I'm gonna have to find another place to put it. I'm gonna have to come back later, because I've got the puppy here. Nope, nope. You're not going to look at the swarm. Nope. Gotta catch ya. Oh, I caught ya! Oh, I caught ya! Oh, I caught ya! Okay, now, come on! Oops! Come on! Gonna leave that. I'll go back later tonight and move them to a better location, because if they're right there, a hedgehog or a badger could eat them. And we have plenty of hedgehogs, don't we? Loads of hedgehogs and badgers. I don't have my suit on. They're loving the clover or the bees. Okay, come on, let's leave them be. And I will put them in a safe place in a little while. So I found a hive after I discovered the swarm was settling in for the night. All the other bees here have gone to bed. Yeah, so it's really quiet. The bees have all gone to bed in their hives. So I can set this hive up. I don't have my bee suit on. I can set this hive up over here. I've got this little pallet, mini pallet that I can set it up on. Because I have, there's a kind of a timber ladder all the way along there that the hives are all sitting on, but I don't have the timbers. So, I'm going to place this hive on the little pallet in between those and then I can put a timber thing there if I get more hives. So those docks are kind of in the way. I'll have to uh, do this hands-free without the video. But um, so here's the hive and the mini half pallet. So I'll work away at this now. The bees are all still asleep, gone to bed. Except for me, I've set up the hive, so that's gonna be the new entrance. And um, I'll take out some of these for the moment. So I'll take out some of those, and then when I bring the swarm up, I'll dump them in there and put the lid on and then they can acclimatize and they'll be warm in there too because at the moment they'll be closed, uh, cold. So there's the lid and there's, this is the brood box and then this is for the honeycomb there. So I'm going to, I've got to go now suit up just in case they are pissed off and bring the swarm up here. So fantastic, brand new hive. Okay, and all of these bees are still asleep. Oh, there is somebody just went home. Okay, I'm gonna turn off and suit up. Okay, I'm suited and booted. I wanna do this as quietly as possible. Hopefully they won't get too angry. step back a little bit. The ones on the floor, I want to get into the box. These ones here. You can see, hopefully the queen's not in that much. She's in there. I'm hoping she is. I might go and get a dustpan and brush and sweep those into it. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a dustpan and brush 
Sweep those bees into it and then put them in there. Okay. Here is. I don't know if you can see. No, maybe you can't. Oops. There's the bees. Oh, you can't see that. Okay. So I'm gonna try gently try. so that they'll go. Okay, no, they're not happy with me at all. I'm pretty sure the queen is in there. Okay, they're very cross now. Okay, I better leave them be. Yeah, they're very cross. I've gotten them cross. My broom is full of, they're all very, very cross. Okay, go away. I will leave them be and hopefully they'll now that I disturb them, they'll climb into um, the box and uh, settle down again and then I'll bring them up to the hive. I'm standing here watching to see if the bees are getting off the ground and going into the box. And that way I know the queen is in the box. And by the looks of it, that little pile of bees is getting less and less that is on the ground. And they're flying up into the box. Slowly, one by one, they're climbing into the box or flying into the box. I'll go away and come back again, just making sure that the bees weren't going to exit the box and go back onto the ground. Okay. The swarm seems to have settled and they're all up from the box or rather up from the floor. There's no bees down there. Now, I'm gonna gently lift the box up and hopefully they're so chilly they won't mind me. I'm approaching from the back side. disturb them. Dang, that wasn't good. Okay. I was so smooth and then I kicked the box with my knee, stupid woman. Those two are over there. They're well away from the bees. I'm gonna walk away from the bees. I'm gonna go up through that gate over there and they're fine, they're free far away from the bees. Very cross bees. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking because my carbon monoxide breathing uh, distracts bees, they don't like that. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'll just walk up to the hive in the orchard.
pigeons. Ponies are staying away. Gently, gently. I'm bringing you to a new home. No ponies. No ponies to wait. Still very settled. Okay. Off across the orchard. their new home. Hopefully they'll like their new home. Oops, I said I wasn't going to talk. But they seem to be fine. It's so chilly tonight. There you can see the fence behind which the hives are. They're being very good. They've stopped buzzing me. I just have to not kick the box with my knee or trip over a stick. God, I wouldn't want to trip over a stick and fall flat on my face. Talk about creating a swarm. There's the new home. their new home. Now I want to get ready for their new home. So I'm going to take some of these things off and put them down on the ground here. Okay. Okay, now take a few more of these out. Okay, I don't want to step on these. Now, let's see what happens. Here we go. Look at them all. So busy. Oops, I'm the phone. Okay. Get down. There we go. There we go. This is hard. Okay, I haven't put the lid on properly. But look, they're already exiting or entering. Hopefully the queen was shook out and stayed in the uh, hive. Let's see. Are any of those the queen? Okay, they were 
I'm gonna put the lid on properly. See, it's not quite on properly, it's slid. I'm gonna have to take, turn the phone off first. The lid is on properly. The swarm is in there, I think. Or rather, the queen is in there. Because they all seem to be wanting to go in, not come out. And I've got this all prepped for tomorrow so that I can put more of these inside there after they've settled. I'll be very cross tomorrow. Actually, maybe I'll leave them for a day or two to settle in. The neighbors are still quiet. These guys are very cross. And humming. Anyway, there we go. They have a new home. <laughs>